Yes, welcome back to Evening Estes, the series where we check out new and upcoming games. And tonight we're checking out Dredge again. Yeah, four months ago I covered this and it was early access, but the full game just came out and the devs are kind enough to hook me up with a key. So we're checking it out. We're gonna be doing a full playthrough actually, because I'm really excited about this one. I really, really liked what they had going on. So we're gonna do a whole dang playthrough. So make sure you are subscribed and you have that bell clicked. All those dang things so you make sure you never miss an upload because we're replaying this game to completion so i'm very excited about that okay let's go ahead and do a new game and guys as always I have a link for this below if you want to check it out for yourself okay got job listing of angler wanted here we are okay this looks to be pretty much the same as last time i'm very curious what they changed or if, if anything at all it could be all the same things but just more just more of the same things which i would not be mad at because it was really good Man, the art was just so beautiful, too. The art direction is off the chain. There we go. We crashed our boat. We are now dredging the depths. Boom, here we are. If you're unfamiliar with this game, uh, essentially you're just like this little tugboat right here. And you're trying to make it upgrades uh, and just trying to figure out the story of the town. Okay, so the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. This is the mayor. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. I sure hid. <laughs> I know them intimately. Okay, did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad our new fishermen upright and breathing. Ah, uh, your boat was hopelessly damaged. Of course it was. But I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of your old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. All right, finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. That's freaking right. Yeah, when it gets nighttime, it's scary as heck here. <laughs> you definitely do not want to be out there at night. Here we go. Oh, man, I was so looking forward to this. Yes, dude. Getting to control this little boat is awesome. Uh, you can rotate the camera. I can do that just fine. And I can also adjust the height. Have nice little uh, completion bars to see how far you're doing. Okay, here's a fishing spot. You can see because it's splashy. There's a whole bunch of splashing. Press F to start our fishing. And I'll press F to start fishing. Oh, I remember this. We have to hit it on the greens. I can do that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I can rotate with uh, right click. There we go. Awesome. There you go. Let's do some more fishing. These quick time events, <laughs> which I'm known to be really good at. There you go. Let's do some more fishing. Nice. I don't know why, but last time I played this, I missed these all the time. <laughs> like, I like literally did not stop missing them. <gasps> a trophy! Nice. 28.9 centimeters. Not bad. Keep fishing. Okay, it's been depleted. You can tell that the spot has been depleted because the text is all red, and it also says that it has been depleted. Very good. Let's leave. You can press X to do that. Very good. It's all in our cargo. Uh, is there any more spots we want to hit up? Oh, I press tab. I see you have a... A green exclamation point, or I guess it's a black on green exclamation point. We can go to the cabin. We have pursuits. We have our pursuits, a fresh start, catch a fish for the day. A fresh start, met the mayor of Greater Morrow who sent me to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. We're gonna be back before nightfall though. Said something about fog, a bit dramatic. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he was being dramatic. Um, oh, you know what? I think that might be new. I don't know if pursuits was in this, the last time that I played it. We also have the encyclopedia, so this is like pretty much our almanac of all things fish. Uh, so this is what we caught so far. We have caught five inside of coastal waters uh, of the blue mackerels. Number one. Perfect. We've done it. Let's continue. Let's keep catching some fish. We had to make all the money that we possibly can. And I hope you guys are stoked for this playthrough because I freaking am. I've been, I've been just counting down the days until I got to play this. <laughs> Actually, at the time I'm recording this, uh, they just sent me this game. Uh, and I can't release it until Monday, which is probably when you're watching it. Oh, here we go. Yes, I've been thinking about this game all freaking day. <laughs> I've been so stoked to play it. Sick. Yeah, I remember the last time I played this, though. I had uh, I was definitely newer to recording videos, so I'm hoping that this time I do a better job of, of explaining everything and also reading. Good lord. I <laughs> Oh, time only advances when you're moving and fishing. That's right. But yeah, I... God. For some reason, reading out loud when I first started streaming and, uh, and recording was the hardest thing in the whole world. It's like I had never read out loud before. Uh, thankfully, now it seems to be doing a little bit better, but <laughs> we'll see. It remains to be seen. I could be spending just days and days uh, editing mistakes of me not being uh, literate at all. Uh, here we go. Nice. We're doing pretty good. We're filling it up. We also have that trophy fish, which I'm excited to see uh, what that does for me. Keep fishing. 
I should probably start rearranging some things, shouldn't I? This probably isn't the most optimal use of our space. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's put... Oh, wait. We can probably fit another one of these guys there. But I have to find another place to... Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's move that down here. They're already screwed. Oh, I might be screwed. I might be, it might be done. It might be done. I don't know. <laughs> it might be too late to do anything about this at this point. Okay, here we go. Two. We are full up. We are full up, so we're heading back. Uh, oh gosh, which way is back? There it is. That's back. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be getting dark pretty soon here as well. It's uh, 1,700 hours. So, you know, it's it's getting on in the day. It's only like five. But the sun's going down very rapidly. Look at that. Yeah, since you're... It's, that's so cool. The lighting looks so good, doesn't it? Okay, you can uh, select your lights by holding E and then toggling them with a right click. Lies? Lights. Toggle with right click. With the right click. You can toggle with right click. Oh, did I get it? I think they're on. Oh, right click like that. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay, the lights are on. We've done it. And it's getting dark, so we're just in time. Let's pull up very carefully. Yeah, here we go. We can dock with F. Nice. Seamless. Oh, we keep going. There it is. Okay, you step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. He was just watching me fish the whole dang time. Ah, I see you've returned to One Piece. Very good. Before we head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you this replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I may want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. That's, that's a fair trade. So to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? I do understand. I can absolutely do that. Got it. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. Fishmonger, what's up? What's up? Oh, I missed your beard. I, I missed that, that joyful look in your eye that uh, a fishmonger could only have. Okay, let's continue. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everybody. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. More species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Oh, buddy, do I have some stuff for... Oh, this fish sells for 12 bucks. Okay, I mean, it's like, you know, four bucks more. Not bad. We'll sell those. Like, I maybe we should sell it, right? I mean, probably. Okay, we sold... Oh, we sold all the fish. How about that? <laughs> I, didn't think, I didn't think I could sell it all. Oh, it was sell all button. That's why. There it is. Done. Done and sold. Okay, the mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's. Man, he's just following me around. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. All right, look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make something out of it. Why don't you take it? All right, I'll take it. It's a research part. Oh, remember these? Yeah. I remember those. I, didn't, I don't think I really got to use those last time. Uh, I don't think that was inside of the, uh, the beta when I was playing before. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay, that's a great idea. Shipwright. Yeah, what's up, girl? As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above waterline, are splintered and scratched. Yeah, what's with that? Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Very good. I'll remember that. We don't have to repair anything right now, but I could... I think I could buy a, uh, a fishing rod, right? I think that's definitely within the realm of possibility. Do I want another one, though? Uh, this one's for shallow water. This one's for coastal. Uh, yeah, I think we will double down and get ourselves a new fishing rod. We're going to go ahead and install it. Boom. We wanna, we're going to start catching shallow fish. Very good. Uh, how about this research part? What do I do with this? The storage? Let's send it to the storage. I don't think we need it right now. Great. Let's go ahead and return to town, because I think we're good. Is the mayor here just staring at me again? No, he's not. He is down here in the bottom left, though. I guess I can access him at any time. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, just go to sleep. Oh, wait. Well, let's, check our, let's check our cabin real quick. Encyclopedia has been updated. That's fantastic. 
Uh, other than that, I think we can go ahead and just uh, take this news. Just rest up until tomorrow. Very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and undock. I think we're ready for another day of fishing. I need some, like, jaunty sea music going on right now. Do they have that for me? No, it seems to be mostly moody and melancholy. Like, <laughs> I wonder if I can get, like, sea shanty 2 up in this piece. I think that's exactly what this calls for. I could probably turn off the light, too. I probably don't need that on right now. Um, but how, do I, how did I get the light? Shoot. Q? E. Lights? I have a foghorn? <laughs> nice. Uh, I also have a spyglass. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. What? Was this? In, was this there? Oh, I can I can spot all the different fish on the on the top of the on top of the lake here too. But here's the other town. Nice. Great. Okay, let's do some fishing. I don't want to stick there for too long. Okay, this is the shallow water fishing that we were uh, hoping to do with our new rod. There we go, a flounder. I want to make sure I put this in a good spot. I guess I guess here is as fine as any. Let's keep fishing for another flounder. These ones are really big, actually. These are very big fish. They take up four, just a huge square of fish. Ooh, trophy, baby! Okay, great. It's been depleted. We've done it. We can leave. Let's press X and get out of here. Oh, what's... Is that a mermaid? No. Oh, no. It can't be. Oh, it's a message. It's a message in a bottle. Let's see what that's all about. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick trip on over there. It's only 10 in the morning right now. We have plenty of time. A lot of time to burn. I definitely want to catch some of these sharks, too. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that in, uh, in the beta. But I, I have played a little... Uh, oh, gosh. I want to say the beta was maybe like, maybe like an hour and a half at the most. Let's collect this item. Let's go ahead and check the cabin. We can read all about it. A message in a bottle. Oh, well, that's right, the honeymooners. The honeymooners were here. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the island inlets and back to the greater morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. <laughs> Very good. He named the boat last night Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a sunrise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under the blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. What a dog. What a dirty dog. He's going to have a sea time lunch. Okay, uh, was there anything else in here? Cabin, encyclopedia. I guess we just discovered a, uh, a bottle, so maybe that's what we got updated. Fair enough. Okay, we spent a whole hour reading that and getting there, so it's probably time to keep fishing. Uh, coastal, coastal waters, right? These guys? I think this is a coastal. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, these guys will help us fill out our inventory here. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put that right there. I think some of the people in town will have a quest for me, too, eventually. Nice. Very good. Oh, here's the music coming back in. I was wondering. I was wondering about it. I wonder if overfishing is a thing. Okay, great. We have a whole bunch of, of fish now. I think we're good. I think we're good to head back. And it's getting a little bit late now. Well, I mean, it's not really late. It's only like 3 in the afternoon, but still. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, huh? You know what I need is like a boost. I need a booster for this. Here, I see. Maybe we can even go back out again. What, oh, you know, maybe when I have better lights, I'll do that. I don't think I want to do that with the lights that I currently have. That might be kind of dangerous. <laughs> I might be asking for a heap of trouble. Oh, Fishmonger, I've had a special order come through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Oh, heck yeah, dude. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. Okay, I do have the flounder. Right, I think I, think I had a flounder. Okay, you'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Yeah, I got that. I can do that. Okay, so the eel is also shallow water. Okay, I can do that as well. Okay, I do have a fish. Here you go. You can have this one. Boom. I do need to go catch an eel, though. Okay, done. Uh, I guess we can just sell what else the other stuff that we have. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. I have not seen that yet, actually. Okay, great. Uh, how much time do we have? Let's go back out. Let's go back out and see if we can catch ourselves an eel real quick. 
and just really hope we don't get caught out too late at night here, which I'm, I might be tempting fate. I might actually be tempting fate a little bit here. You know what? We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. I'm not going to. We're going to fish right here for a little bit, though. Just a little while. Nice. Okay, depleted. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yeah, it's getting it's getting dark out. I think even in the dark, uh, things randomly start spawning in, so it's really not so much how you remember the map being, but uh, it's kind of RNG, I believe. So you really can't just trust yourself to remember. Okay, there we go. Ship loan payments, 11 bucks remaining. Not bad, we're almost done. Here, you can buy this for 10 bucks. Okay, we're almost out of debt. We only need a uh, dollar fifty more, and then we'll be all done. Great. Uh, let's go to the shipwright, and I wonder if we can uh, get ourselves. Ooh, yeah. See, see these upgrades. I can get a new rusty uh, uh, outboard engine. Might be pretty good. I mean, they're both rusty. It doesn't seem that great. <laughs> Maybe I don't want those. What's this one? A weighted line for shallow water. These are two different things. Do I want this one? I don't know. Let's install it. Let's install it and try it. And we'll send this one to the uh, to the storage. Wait, yeah, you middle mouse click to send things to storage. Okay, I spent all my money on that rod. I only have four bucks and 30 cents. No, uh, that's fine though. That's not a big deal. Yeah, some more lights will definitely come in handy. I don't have to repair anything really. Uh, yeah, so I still have to pay $9.53, and that's it. We have our storage right here, so we have a few things. Uh, what do I want? Do I want to do, you know what, let's put this away. Let's uninstall, and let's install this. Nice, very good. Oh, here we go. Oh, a hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Oh, man. You know, that's a good question. I've asked myself that quite often. Why am I here? What the heck am I doing and why? And and just freaking why? <laughs> I've come to see this. I guess I've come to see the area. There's nothing around here or someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Well, that's a fine how do you do? Oh, the mayor wants to talk to me. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Oh, I can do that. Would you like to give this package to the dock, wor dock worker there, please? Oh, this is like, this is like someone's finger before, wasn't it? Or something really weird? <laughs> I think that might have been the case. Okay, the mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. You think it would be a fish, but I'm pretty sure it's like a frickin' hand or something. <laughs> the dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh, oh, shoot, wait, where do I have to go? I forgot, I immediately forgot where that is. Uh, pursuits? I still have to catch that eel. Uh, I don't know where that eel is at, actually. Okay, the package, uh, Little Morrow. The Little Morrow is to the east, was it? Yeah, to the east, okay, great. Hopefully they're okay with me taking a nap real quick, though. And it doesn't spoil that, that finger that's in that bag. Hold on, wait, here we go, yeah, undock. We're good to go. I'll check our inventory. Is this spoiled? No. Okay, but we are heading east. That's just across the way here. I'll be looking out for eels as well as we go. I'm not really sure which of my rods is used for eels. I don't know if I wasted my money buying two shallow water rods. <laughs> I can't really say for certain, uh, but we will figure it out. Without a doubt, we're gonna figure that one out. Uh, but for right now, it's gonna remain a mystery. Okay, we're almost across. Uh, should I be should I be doing fishing on the way here? I'm not so sure. I'm not totally positive that I want to be. I don't see any like eel shapes in the waters. I think that'd be a pretty dead giveaway of what's there. All right, here we go. Let's dock up. Little Morrow. <laughs> right, here's the dock worker. Hmm, what a delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Because it's like a freaking finger, right? It's like so, it's like body parts. Yeah, nice and fresh. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You surely get more use of it out of it. You surely get more use of it out of it than I will. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Great, there you go. Okay, I got the storage here on this side of the island. We also have the trader. 
Oh, this dude, what's up? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with the antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over his silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No, I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. He thought he knew me. Why do you, th do I have like amnesia? Is that, <laughs> this is about to be some like Lovecraft kind of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> like I almost can guarantee it. <laughs> I specialize in antique and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today? Perhaps, I do not. I, I have some fishing rods, which I'm not willing to sell actually. Uh, so you can keep your eyes off of them because they're for me. Great, let's go ahead and find ourselves an eel. We spent enough time dilly-dallying and uh, I guess delivering body parts. <laughs> That's pretty much all we've done so far, I think. Oh, what's this? Looks like uh, ship wreckage, I guess. Let's see. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay, fine. I can't catch anything here, but I guess this is where you get like uh, hard materials. Oh, here's another, uh, another message in a bottle. Let's see if we can read this. Also, where the heck are my eels? I'm looking for some eels. There we go. We added some to the cabin. Let's take a quick peek. Okay, sustainable fishing. Oh. Oh, I guess, oh, I uh, just read it over time. Okay, there you go. I guess that'll give me a buff of some sort. Can I see what, it, what it'll do? No, it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me at all, but I also have, oh. Where the, oh, that book, that's what he gave me. Oh, I got it, okay. For a second, I was like, did I get a book from the bottle? <laughs> Here's the bottle, okay. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere. I told you, man, I told you this rock just come out of nowhere. It struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hole, but it jostled us around. A few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we all believe important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat remaining uh, renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Well, he did it wrong. And now he's paying the price. Now he's paying the dang price. Okay, we got some more stuff back here. Anything that we want to get? Perhaps? What is this? This is more garbage we can, uh... No, we can't get it. We don't have the right equipment to be fishing for garbage. It would seem. So we're just gonna make our way around the island and hopefully we'll find some eels. Remember, I can go west to get back home if I need to. Uh, which I think the time is coming up. I think that, oh, there's like, were those dolphins? Nice. What up? What up, dolphins? How the heck you doing? Okay, I guess we can just do some fishing here. Unfortunately, I don't, I have no idea where the eels are. I don't remember where I got them last time. Okay, let's do a little, oh, it's getting a little late though. Let's do fishing a little bit closer to home. I think that's what we want to do. I don't want to get caught out here. The last thing I want is to get caught out. And it seems like, oh yeah, the dial, the, the sundial right now is almost night. Uh, we need to be, we need to, oh, we need to haul. We need to haul back to, to base here. Hold on. Can I E and go to my lights? Let's keep the lights on. I'll just have the lights on in preparation. Uh, Cause I do not want to get caught out in the dark here. It's going to be a recipe for absolute disaster. I'm totally sure about that. Great, okay. Oh, we're like just, oh, there's no fish over here though. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. Oh, I want to catch more fish. I was so close to paying off the debt. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Frickin' fine, dude. That's all we're that's all we're gonna do for today, I guess. We just did the the delivery. Uh we read some bottles. And that's all that's all we got. Okay, let's go ahead and rest up. Let's go ahead and rest up big time. Oh, here's that red light they were talking about. Yeah. Okay, let's get to fishing. We got some more fishing to be to be had here. We have to catch a lot of fish. I definitely want to make some upgrades as soon as possible because I just think it, you know, the sooner you get them, the more valuable they really are. Okay, right here. These are eels. These have to be the eels. Okay, let's do some fishing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, that dial is definitely different. Is this back in the water? Is that what this is? I'm not putting you back in the water, bud. I just got you. I do. I do think I missed a uh, a trophy one though. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure the first time I went fishing there was a yellow one, which would have been fantastic. I want the trophies, as many as I can get, as fast as I can get them. Nice. Okay, we're chalk up on eels. There you go. 
all the eels you could eat. Uh, I don't think we can fish these guys yet, but we can go over there and try it and see what happens. I think we have every single fishing rod now. This is coastal, I believe. But it's like a deep water coastal, right? Disturbed water. I don't have the right equipment for it. Okay, never mind. It's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Okay, we can do we can fish these guys up though. That's fine. We're just gonna hang out in the bay for the most part today. Oh, I don't have the coastal rods. That's right. I got rid of it. Uh oh, but which one? I guess we can get rid of one of the other shallow ones. We don't really need it. We can go ahead and just dock up. We can dock up real quick. Yeah. Let's dock up real quick, sell what we got. We're gonna be out of debt, which will be fantastic. And then we can grab our coastal rod. And and then from there and on, everything else is just straight profit, baby. That's right. We can start making some major upgrades to the boat, and we'll be uh we'll be really good. <laughs> we'll be really great, I guess. Yeah. That's what we'll say about it. <laughs> Fishing monger, have you had any fish for the order? I do. I do have fish for the order, just leave it here. Great. There you go, bud. Boom. 53 big ones. Hey, that was a lot of money. There you go. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here that's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Good lord. A squid and a grouper. Okay, they only feed at night though. Oh, baby. <laughs> Shoot. You know what that means. We're doing some night fishing. Some night fishing is definitely on the horizon. So we need to, oh, we need to do our best to get all that uh, that upgrades for our boat. So we can really do that night fishing well. I don't want to, I don't want to go out there with like the really crappy lights. It's not gonna be good for us. Okay, here's the mare again. The mare is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, mostly to my efforts, mind you. Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent to the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've been chosen to be here with us. Chosen to be here with you. Isn't that cryptic as heck? <laughs> Let's see the dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior holes. We'll need decent stock of hard materials. That's what I was talking about. That's okay. That's what those things were in the water. Okay, I know how to get them, but we'll, we'll click it anyway, even though we know. Okay, that's right. Great. Oh, here's the upgrade system too, dude. Yes. Okay, sick. Uh, what do we have? We have uh, plus two rod spaces, plus four net spaces, uh, plus two engine spaces, and also plus one light space. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks to do an upgrade. Uh, not yet. More rods? Oh, you modify rod spaces to hold nets. Okay. Uh, I do think I want the... Let's do this one. How do you do it? Do. Do it up. Oh, I need those things first. That's why. Okay, that's why. We just went over that. <laughs> I just, I was just talking about how I knew how to do it. And there you go. I immediately did not do it. Uh, let's press tab. We can check our cabin. Uh, we have pursuits. Okay, oh, yeah, here's our new thing. Two arrow squid and one black grouper, which we can absolutely do uh, at some point. Oh, you know what I need? I need the lights, though. I need to go back to the shipwright. I need to get lights. Okay, cloudy lenses. 180 bucks. Oh, man. I need another light spot. I think that's what I really need. Uh, how much does that is that going to cost? Oh, wait, no. Not here. Not here. Shipwright. Let's see. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. So you know what? I think that's as good a spot to end as any. I want to thank you all so much for being here. Oh my gosh. I've been looking forward to this game. Like, I, like I've been saying, I just like cannot get enough. I love the aesthetic. I love the story that's going on in this game too. Like we'll get into it more obviously. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, as always guys, I have links for this below. If you want to check it out for yourself. I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but I do know that it's coming out for me on Monday. So that's when you'll be watching this video, hopefully. Great. Yeah, that's it for me, guys. I want to thank you all so much again. Also, a really very big thank you to all my lovely, lovely patrons over on Patreon. I very, very much appreciate you guys. And that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you out in the next video. Bye-bye.